former Mississippi Valley State head football coach Vincent Dancy will be following former former slash current. <laughs> Jackson, currently formerly current slash okay yeah. uh, uh head football coach Deion sanders to colorado uh based on reports uh he will be serving as an analyst out there okay um this to go along with other people that you know coach prime has put on his staff out there as well yeah. okay uh so let's talk about it okay let's talk about it but before we do make sure y'all hit that subscribe button you know to my this is the realest most entertaining sports show in the game that is put it on something i am first letter there is my brother tim g jacob so make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and put all your people on it you feel me yeah but uh t do you think it's a good move for dan said uh I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I I I guess this was um an opportunity for Dancy mm -hmm. based upon the fact that uh and I and I do believe Dancy has done some some stuff on like uh the NFL level. He kind of tied in with some NFL uh camp workout type stuff some kind of coaches thing but he was one of the ones that was invited um to do one of those things so to coach dancy in some people's eyes is like one of them guys that hey you know if he had enough talent he could do some things mm -hmm. um interesting that prime chose him gave him gave him the opportunity i, I personally was kind of shocked by the fact that he, the brother left Mm -hmm. um very very much so very much so um because i thought he was starting to get some things in a sense building down there in, in, in valley i mean um so i i just was kind of surprised by the move i don't like the fact that he's going to be an analyst because i'm I, I need to i guess i need to do some homework and find out what an analyst does maybe somebody out there a real one can just explain what the analyst does like are you kind of like the guy that does the the deep diving into teams and tendencies and uh what they like to do on third and one or what they like to what they like what what kind of formations they usually line up in and those are kind of things you you bring to the staff you know week in week out but it should it surprised me i was i was shocked by the fact that he that he left and join the staff uh and i guess that goes to show you that prime kind of was looking at dancy going I, I think he could be an asset to me in whatever way um so surprised by the move i'm glad for him for the opportunity even though i just don't know if i'd go with prime per se that's kind of interesting he went with prime ran off with prime I, and i don't know what valley fans have to say about it i'm sure they don't like it um but it'd be interesting to see where this leads for him for coach dancy does it does it allow him to step out and get into some bigger roles maybe as a d coordinator or o oc or whatever you know, I mean that's the thing I'm more interested in is the is the the the, the springboard mm -hmm. for it. I, I don't I don't want to look for him to be coming back to swag ball if you're there and you got this opportunity, especially if Colorado becomes successful. So very, very interesting move. I I I was very shocked, kind of disappointed, but I guess for Coach Dancy, it, it was an opportunity that he couldn't pass up. So, you know. Just, just for him and his namesake, I, you know, his coaching name, I guess, you know. So, mm -hmm. not, not the biggest, not the. Like I said, it was just mixed emotions. Really, honestly, it really was. It was kind of surprising. It was very surprising, but at the same time, I was glad he got an opportunity. Okay, okay. Now, I was, I was a little shocked by, it, but for a different reason. I had been seeing Coach Prime, big Coach dance up continuously. 
You know what I'm talking mm. about? We know that him and uh, Eddie Robinson Jr. over there uh, at Alabama State got a contentious relationship. We've seen him and uh, your boy, Coach Maynard, mm. have a contentious relationship. But we've seen him be hella cool with uh, Fam U's coach. And we've seen him be hella cool with Coach Dancing. Mm. Okay. So I thought part of the Coach Dancer thing was, you know, he know that Coach Dancer, uh, Jack State man, he knows the game. I've said it on here before. I was like, yeah, y'all, I'm going to be watching Ballard closely because when Prime Lee, you know, back in the time when nobody wanted to believe that shit was ever going to happen. But, you know, I was like, maybe, you know, Coach Dancer could be the one to take over. Right. You know, my, yeah. So I thought maybe Prime was saying all that shit kind of grooming him to come kind of just keep that thing rolling once he dip out. Right. I didn't think he was going to snatch the main and take him with him hey. when he dipped out. Hey. So I didn't have that one on my bingo card. I thought Coach Dancy was going to be one of the prime candidates, no pun intended, for, uh, mm. for the Jack State yeah. job. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, I saw an interview with Coach Dancy and he was like, you're like, shit, this really finna be his first time in his life outside of Mississippi. So he want to see what that's like. So that's the kind of shit that I can't get motherfuckers to understand. And I think other people who feel the way I feel or reacted to the shit the way I react to it, we can't get folks to understand that prime situation is different from all these other coaches. Absolutely. Prime. Already rich, Coach Dancy does not have generational wealth like that. Now, if I had Coach Dancy check up there from Valley right now, so again, I got numerous businesses that are doing well, but we ain't there yet. I'm starting from the ground up. If I had head coaching money like that, I would have been Gooch. Most I made as a teacher was, I think, fifty two, fifty three thousand dollars one year. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if I had what he was making at Valley, my life would be <laughs> very different. Okay, right. but what what he may be able to make now, if he making more than he made at Valley, if he on uh, if he about to go make more as an analyst than he made as a head coach, that's another indictment on this fucked up ass system. The, the, this, the, all the the, the, the the systemic shit we keep talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's just nothing. But the opportunity that, like you said, that he might can take that analyst shit and flip it and become a, a DC or OC or something like that. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? That's different from Prime's situation. It is. Dancing talking about this the first time in his life he's going to be out in Mississippi. Yeah. Prime has been everywhere. He's been everywhere. All around, you know, he is the you know so it's totally different. So you can't call motherfuckers who may wish uh coach Dancy well hypocritical. And you know, the folks I, I don't see a lot of valid people on my timeline. I mostly see JSU folks on my timeline, and he's a JSU man, and I've seen nothing but people being happy for him. So from some of the same folks. Who pissed with Prime? I've seen them be happy for dance as I am. You know what I'm talking about? You know, yeah. uh, because it's different. Them, those are two totally different situations. Absolutely. Also, I, I I don't know Valley real ones from Valley. Y'all had to tell me was Coach Dancy up there saying that God called him to change the Mississippi Delta? Let us know if he did. I'm gonna say he didn't. But okay, okay. if Dancy was up there telling y'all that God wanted him to be y'all coaching and to change life in the Mississippi Delta that maybe the, the football team can distract from uh, systemic racism and lack of jobs and how the, the, uh, uh, the government does not try to attract any of these factories and stuff to the Mississippi Delta. If Dan's was up there saying all that kind of stuff. Be different. Let us know. Okay. But I know that's the shit Prime was on. All yeah. right. But Coach Dancer say that Coach Prime is a man of his word, that he's done nothing but, you know, follow through on his word to him. 
And I believe that, you know, people have, okay. you know, different relationships. All right. Okay. So I ain't got no problem with it. Real ones from Valley, though. I wonder how y'all feel. Okay. That's, like I said, from the JSU side, I've seen nobody, and this is a JSU man, like I said, I've seen nobody have a problem with it, you know, to my, but uh, yeah. would like to know what, what, what Valley, Valley fans are thinking and how y'all feeling up there. Who y'all, you know, to my, what, what are the candidates y'all looking at uh, to replace them? You know what I'm saying? I want to see Valley do do well, man. Valley shocked the swag. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> they did they did shock the swag. They fucked up the whole situation for prayer view. Yeah. Uh they the one that gave us boom box classic part two this year. If they hadn't done what they did, yeah. you know, to my prayer view would have came through. Uh so like you saying, it, it did look like they were percolating. It was, it was, he was starting to get some kids up there and everything. And uh, Valley was starting to put some money into their program. That running back was a bad motherfucker. Caleb Johnson was Caleb playing really did. well. Now he yeah. entered the transfer portal, maybe. Yeah. Uh, um, did he enter before the news came down? I had to go back and double check. It was, it, well, it, well, when I caught the dancing news, that's when I found out that the kid was transferring. So it yeah. was kind of like, I ain't sure when and what. You can come on down, <laughs> Caleb. We got room in the backfield with Mr. Wilkinson now. You know, that's, that's my boy. Okay. But he's a, he's a good man. Okay. He'll share that backfield with you. All right. I don't know who our QB going to be. So at least we can turn around and hand that motherfucker off. You can come on down. Yeah, see there. See there. Come, come, on, on. Down. come on down. Well, I don't know. That's going to be you my like, recruiting pitch now. Like the. Uh, what show was that? The Bob uh, Barker. The Price is Right. Price is Right. I used to watch that shit yeah. with my grandmama. Y'all recruit. Y'all focus on the transfer portal. Yeah. Come on down. Yeah. Down, baby. Yeah. I, uh, this 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 whole swag thing is it's starting to get interesting. I mean, you got Dancy's departure, you got Prime departure, and just filling those type of things. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very interesting. And and to be honest with you, I'm very interested. I'm I'm more interested in what Valley's gonna pull pull in, who they're gonna pull in as a coach. Because do they go outside of the box? Maybe like a really talented high school coach or something up that way that maybe can you know foster a different. He can come in with a different uh, view. Or a different point of view or a different way to go approach getting kids there. You know, if he's one of them guys that may got, okay, let's just do hypothetical. Like Coach Rogers at Home Central. Mm -hmm. You bring him in with the foothold he's got in the area. Mm -hmm. Bring those kids to Valley with his coaching acumen and everything. And then now you say, I right, go, you go challenge Jackson State and those teams. It'd just be interesting to see what that turns out to be. He is another JSU man, and he got college coaching ex experience. You know, he was an assistant for Jack State. It'd be interesting to see. You, you, and shout that, out Coach Rogers. Shout that's out Coach. Cool, hey, <laughs> I, I, I love to see it, man. I love to see more of our coaches here in the state get these kind of jobs, mm -hmm. and and have great success at them. And then if you if you flourish from the next thing to the next thing you flourish you ain't promising nothing but i'm gonna win my intention is to win and graduate kids hey i'm good with that mm -hmm. you know and if you win swag titles that's gravy but i'd love to see some of these coaches here in the state get elevated to positions to where that they can they can get their name out there and with, with, with valley and i you want to put this on record and i put it on record when i shouted them out uh for that win again people outside the culture don't understand the mississippi delta mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying they just hear mississippi there's poverty in mississippi and then there's delta poverty it's, you know what different. i'm saying it's different, shit different like folks act like what coach prime did at jackson state that he did that like at valley or something yeah you know what I'm saying? Like Jack State yeah. is a blue blood HBCU program. 
Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Blue Blood had 16 SWAC championships before he came. Yeah. Okay, before he had them two. So if he had done that at Valley, then you show enough would have been talking in, Jack. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? So to go up there, whoever takes that job, you deal with so much. HBCUs in general lack funds, but goddamn it, Valley show enough. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking about? So it, it, it's just tough. But as I've said before, I just got this deep affinity for the people of the Mississippi Delta. Uh, they really shaped me teaching up there. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I just always love them. Hmm. I just always love them, you know, what I'm yeah. saying? And, and appreciate them. So uh, I wish Valley well. Only time I don't wish them well is when they play Jack State University. That's it. <laughs> All right. You know, so real ones, y'all chime in. Let us know how y'all felt about uh Coach Dancing taking the opportunity to go out there with Coach Prime. You know what I'm talking about? Let us know for real, for real. Uh you know what were your thoughts on it for real now? Uh did it shock y'all? Uh, me. are y'all feeling some type of way about it? You know what I'm talking about? Did you see it as different from the Coach Prime situation? Uh, also, who do y'all want next? Who are y'all uh, looking at to replace? All right, let us know. Put it on some. Thank you so much for watching my daddy's YouTube channel. Make sure you like, share, and turn on your post notifications. Okay, how do I do it?